What is up with it, everyone? Paul from Timeless Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Blood Rage Legendary Weapon inside of Dead Island 2. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first, we're going to head over here to the pier to the Light, uh, light Guard Tower. Light Guard Tower? Water Guard Tower? Pull Guard? Whatever. The Guard Tower. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and jump down here into the parking lot, and there's going to be a big crusher by the name of Dante. We're going to go ahead and and just handle him and kill him and he's gonna drop for us a note that will go ahead and begin our quest fool's gold so right over here on the ground after you kill him he'll drop this letter which is a totally legit letter after we'll have to head over here to randy's locker which is inside of the lifeguard tower uh area and we're just gonna go ahead and head right over here to this corner and open up his locker for the deep shit paper and we're gonna have to follow the paper trail for Dante so over here at the end of the pier by this fuse box we're gonna go ahead and find a bench and on the bench is going to be our next note that we're gonna have to go ahead and grab so once you come over here just head over here to this bench and boom we'll have a meeting of the minds letter just sitting there waiting for us to grab it so once we grab Meeting of the Minds, we're going to have to head to the opposite side of the pier, back towards the shops over here. And on the very left side, by that blue shop at the corner, we're going to go ahead and find our next piece of paper. So it's the Merry Go Round and Frozen Yogurt kind of place. And there's going to be an alleyway to its left. Just go ahead and head down the alleyway. And right here on the ground is going to be our next letter, which is flaws in the plan. Go ahead and pick that up. And now we're going to have to head to a buried safe. So we're going to head all the way back over here to the lifeguard tower into this little alleyway that's on the side of it. Now, inside of the alleyway, there's going to be the buried safe towards the middle of it. So just go ahead and head over here. It doesn't matter which way you come from. It's going to be on the side over here, though. So once you head down this alleyway, just look into the sand on the ground and it's going to be on your left towards these crates. So it's going to be just hidden right over here on the ground. You guys can see it sticking out just slightly. Go ahead and hold your interaction button on it and after it'll tell you that there's too many zombies, you're going to have to kill them all. So go ahead and just dispatch the zombies as fast and as quick as you possibly can. Once you do that, head over back to the safe. And you're just going to go ahead and hit your interaction button one more time. And once you do that, boom, the Blood Rage Dagger will fly out. And all you have to do is go ahead and pick it up. So it's pretty simple, very easy, and it's a really, really good dagger. It does bleed damage, as a matter of fact. So as you guys can see, it's about one or to two hits to kill a zombie. So pretty good and pretty easy to use. And here's its stats right here for you guys to go ahead and look at. Pause the video if you guys have. And that's how you get the Blood Rage legendary weapon inside of Dead Island 2. Pretty fast, pretty simple, and very easy to get, as well as it being one of the best weapons in the game. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next <laughs>